thing here. I uh, want to do a little tutorial about uh, multimeters. Um, you know, there's all kinds of multimeters you can get. You know, we have uh, this digital multimeters, uh, analog multimeters, uh, auto ranging multimeters. Uh, you get even uh, capacitor multimeters, uh, ESR multimeters. There's all kinds. What you want to get is a multimeter that allows you to check for amps, voltages, uh, resistance, and continuity. First rule of thumb is, is take away, stay away from this crap. Analog multimeters are not for you. They have its their own specific applications, but it's really not. They're not that user friendly, and you need something that can give you the readout without having to. Um, you know, decipher what it really is saying. Uh, in this case, if we use this and we get a 9 volt battery, we test. Can you tell me how many volts is this? Uh, it's not. It's not that user friendly. You want to stick to one of these uh, digital multimeters. The uh, DC voltages you got from 600 volts DC because this is an electrician's multimeter. But you have to make sure that you choose the right range every time you try to uh, measure anything. Same thing goes for the uh, volts, uh, AC, 200, 600, and then you have the um, uh, microamps, uh, milliamps, uh, as well as the uh, resistance, and we have uh, continuity right here. It's 9 volts, 0.10. What you want to get is stay away from all this and try to get something that's auto ranging. Auto ranging means that you don't have to really switch anything by besides um, if the unit, uh, if what you're measuring is AC or DC. Uh, so in this case, we have this uh, XTEC uh, EEX330. So basically, you're putting on volts DC. You can see that right now it's. Uh, it will be measuring millivolts, but it's going to change right away after I touch it. We get 9.10 volts, and that's pretty much accurate. If I wanted to measure, uh, like we did in one of those um, power supply videos, uh, AC voltages, you go to AC, um, we get one probe in, get the red probe in, and we get 123 volts. This is what you want to get. Something that is auto ranging that you don't have to uh, go crazy uh, measuring. Am I on the two volt range, twenty volts? Because one on, one day you will forget. You don't realize that you're actually measuring uh, two hundred forty volts, and you have it on two hundred, and you blow up your meter. So you want to stay away from this. You want to get something that's auto ranging. Um, in this case, this X Tech it has also a non contact. Uh, Voltage detector. If I take out the leads and I press it, when I get close to power, it will beep. There is power in this cable. And if you're watching for this light, which is kind of strong, this would light up. This is a very good multimeter to have. I always remember to have the uh, negative lead on the common, and then you have the uh, positive lead on the. Um, on the voltages, uh, if you want to measure amps, you will have to put it here. Just always pay attention to the warning that it tells you. In this case, if you want to measure 10 amps, you can do so for 30 seconds maximum. There's not much we do uh, on site when we do computer and printer repairs with the amps. Uh, it's all voltage, resistance, and continuity. This is the continuity test. If the cable is good, It will beep. You want to test one of the cables, see if it's cut anywhere or it's broken. You put one of the leads in. Yep, this cable is good on this side. Yep, this cable is good. Let's check the ground. Yep, and this cable is totally fine. Again, uh, auto ranging multimeters, that's what you want to get. The non voltage uh, contact detector is very handy when you want to make sure that the thing is unplugged uh, you want to come to it now the cable is unplugged you can see there's no it doesn't detect no power whatsoever so it's, it's, uh, it comes very handy 
and that's it they just have an auto ranging multimeter it will make your life easier get something uh, uh, good quality something like this costs about 50 bucks uh, but it will last you a lifetime so yay for good multimeters thank you guys i'll see you on the field